thanks to the CFTE. I'm Paolo Seroni, Global Research Leader in Banking and Financial Markets at IBM Consulting, the Institute for Business Value, and author of this new book released this week, Banks and FinTech on Platform Economies. Now, you all know that the technology was born in the US, regulation is typically born in Europe, but business models are born, largely speaking, in Asia. That's why the FinTech revolution sees uh, the biggest winners nowadays in India and in China. It is important to start after discussing business models, then to apply technology within the regulatory context. So open banking needs to be seen from a business perspective, not a technical perspective. Now, in order to explain this to you, I would like to point you to this uh, research paper of the European Central Bank uh, with financial intermediation with technology, what's so what's new. The ECB researchers uh, define financial intermediaries uh, as capable to exert market power if they have superior information and communication. So information for them is core banking, where typically you plug in your uh, open banking APIs, uh, that means payment uh, and uh, the credit function. But they say that more power now is given to interfaces like the world management relationship, the relationship with clients, uh, because uh, given the low interest rate environment, uh, especially in the countries like the European countries, everything is shifting towards uh, the relationship with customers. Technically speaking, uh, this means building banking as a service platforms, uh, that means open banking, as you know it yourself, that evolves into open finance, but as well as conceiving this platform as a banking as a platform that enables banks to onboard uh, solutions from outside of their turf in order to enrich the interfaces for clients. This leads to new um, and already uh, revealed uh, platform strategies, which I would call contextual banking, where open banking enables to contextualize into a different ecosystem. The bank becomes invisible to generate value by eliminating frictions, but the bank also needs to remain visible. So that's why I also focus on the definition of conscious banking. Now, it is contextual banking and conscious banking that generate higher business value. How does this happen? I created for you this banking reinvention quadrant, which has the two axes, information quotient and communication quotient. Now, Accenture tells us that $1 trillion were spent between 2015 and 18 on digital transformations, but most digital banks are chrysalis. Not many became butterflies. Why is that? Well, because banks did not understand the difference between output economies to output outcome economies that work on open ecosystems. And largely speaking, they did not understand that the mobile is a pool technology, a technology for the demand, but most of the revenues that matters, looking at interfaces, operating in an offer driven business is a pushed economy. So then it is important to understand how to use open hybrid cloud, blockchain, IoT, the API economy on one side, intensifying the information quotient. It is important to understand how to plug in trusted data and AI in order to enrich, if not replace in some cases, the relationship to make them transparent and intelligence, to build higher intelligence automation that enables banks and fintech to reach out these two value spaces of contextual banking, the bank is invisible, and conscious banking, the bank is visible. The core is really to understand the difference between output and outcome, push and pull that you can find in banks and fintech on platform economies. Now, why does this matter? If you look at this graph, this is the percentage share of market evaluation among top 500 global banks, payment providers, and other fintech. You see that in 2010, the global banks represented 95% of market cap, but now in 2020 and further down in 2021 is less than 75%. And payment firms are becoming very aggressive. They start to become aggregators. They want to become super apps. They want to win in the platform economy, shifting from outputs to outcomes. So it is very important that we understand how banks and fintech can operate on platform economies because the real competition will be there. The real landing unicorns will all be there. Now, I leave you with this that is very important. I said there are two platform strategies which are, can be underpinned by open banking and open finance. One is contextual banking. The other one is conscious banking. It is the opportunity to eliminate, to eliminate frictions that makes banking contextualized. And it is the need to demonstrate value for clients that makes banking conscious. You will find all of these in Banks and Fintech on Platform Economies, released this week. Happy to participate in this uh, um, a conversation on the CFT and I give it back to the CFT. Music